We did it, guys. Ranked two. We're done. Let's go with, uh, yeah, sure, that. Three Finger Death Punch, thank you so much for gaming with that, uh, oh, it's Bubs! Bubs, leave the chat. Bubs, you will leave the chat. All right. She is actually a, 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 a moderator. <laughs> so I can't really enforce that too, uh, too easily, okay. Mutra, thank you so much for the two gift subs. All right, I have to focus. Bubs is actually good at this game. Uh, Gothitelle lead. Plus Specs Tatsugiri is actually really good. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling Actually, wait, I don't even need to do this. I think this is actually going to be like a Gengar game. This is actually like a Gengar game. This is so risky, though. This is actually so risky to not bring Arcanine to this game. I'm risking it all. I'm literally risking it all here. Yeah, the tears are the same as Sword and Shield. That's what I wanted. Not really, actually. I was hoping for the, uh, the Gera lead. Or the, uh, the Arcanine. Not Ar Garchomp lead. Kinda, kinda messing it up with the Gengar here. I could Icy win, though, but I'm gonna give King Gambit a Defiant boost. I think I always go for Hypnosis on the King Gambit. And just Shadow Ball. No, no. I nasty plot here. I'm gonna hit him with the nasty. Hit them with the nasty. And I'm gonna hypnosis. No need to fake out. I'm just simply too good at the game. Should be faster than King Gambit. Oh, that's an issue. Legitimately would prefer it if Gothitelle died here. Oh, that's an issue. Um. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna do a gamer move. Assuming that we get sucker punched. No, 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 no. Assuming that we take a sucker punch to the face in the Gengar slot. I can avoid all damage this next turn by doing the Tatsu into Gothitelle. We have to pop it early. We gotta pop it early. I'm pulling the rip cord. I'm pulling the rip cord. All right. So assuming sucker punch there. Let's see if we avoided all damage. All right, that's one. And then into the Gothitelle slot. Dragon Dance. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just order up into Gyarados a million times. Uh, and I do Terra here. Alright. Because they might be Terra Grass. We draw on the King Gambit. Grimmsnarl, that's fine. I don't think... I think that that's an indicator that Bubs didn't actually bring, um... What's it named? Amoongus. That's like a non-Amoongus indicator. It's too passive of a team, then. I'd be so happy if, if she Terra Grassed here. Order up. This is gonna do so much. I'm surprised I outsped. Oh, that's crazy. That's a fat Gyarados.
No damage. Probably gonna get faked out, I would assume. I still just order up. I think Grimstar always runs fake out. Also, it's still got those N64 graphics. Still got the N64 graphics, can't lie. I don't think there's a Terra Gyarados can go for that actually helps it here. Reflect? Okay, we're good. I'm still out speeding this turn. Let's see if I KO. I don't think so. Not with Reflect. Actually, maybe. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Uh, even if Amoongus comes out, I still have like Ice Fang, which is really strong versus it. There's the Amoongus. Yeah, I Ice Fang and just pray for, uh, pray for a Freeze or a Flinch. It is really strong, though. This is going to be a very strong Ice Fang. But I think Amoongus might Terra. Oh, maybe I should have Earthquaked. I don't know. If I flinch with Ice Fang, I'm good. Or Freeze. Either one. I know a lot of Amoongus run like Terra, terra Rock right now. I have to get used to that. That's going to be the hardest part. Yeah, there's the Terra. Check it out. I'm going to Freeze. I'm crazy. I'm going to Freeze. Terra Steel. Oh, I totally could have Earthquaked there and it would have been better. Alright. I'm gonna get this freeze and it's gonna go crazy. Check it out. I'm gonna get the freeze. I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm gonna get this freeze. Or flinch. Literally, either one is fine. Or I could miss. Or I could miss. Clear smog. Sport. Ah, that's that's reasonable. That's fine, actually. Maybe no clear smog. This clear smog was definitely better there. Most follow-up clear smog is always an option. But I can still spam Earthquake, and honestly, Specs Tatsugiri is looking better and better each each uh, each option or each each turn that passes. Okay. Yo, I don't think I don't think she actually has clear smog. I don't think she actually has clear smog. Yo, I don't think she has clear smog. Okay. Yeah, I forgot option number three, which is miss. Oh wait, no. The based play is to order up the Grim Snarl. The base play is ordering up Grim Snarl. I'm gonna do it. Parting shot. Parting shot me. Parting shot me right now. You want to parting shot me so bad. It is literally all you want to do right now. It is the only thing on your mind to parting shot this this guy right here. This silly little fella. No parting shot? Okay. Interesting. I didn't wake up anyways. It's super effective. Oh, I guess that makes sense then. I just Earthquake. It's it's always safer. I think if I wake up here, I, I like don't lose ever. Yep, there's the parting shot. That's fine. I'm still at plus two, I'm fairly sure. And if I wake up here in a really good spot. Alright, that's berry range. Oh, it's not berry range. That really sucks. Because now I'm just going to go right back to sleep, aren't I? 
Oh, that's unlucky. I just have to land a couple of earthquakes, come on! I needed the earthquake on switching to be happy there. Yeah, I think it's actually 56 for my berry now that I'm thinking about it. King Gambit, yep. I, I'm, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that. Alright, this should be decent damage. How much on Amoongus? Yeah, that's that's good. Um, how have I not gotten my berry yet? Spirit Break shouldn't do it. Fake Out will just put me in range, too. I just keep clicking it. I don't think anymore. I keep clicking the move. I'm going to get parting shotted, but that's fine. It's the defense boosts that are going to save me. Alright, no parting shot. It's going to be a spirit break, but I'll just be sent into berry range. Yep, nice. That's 30% of my health back. Hmm. I literally just keep doing this. There is no reason to not do this. If I could wake up, that'd be great, though. Because I'm going to get parting shot, but I need damage on this King Gambit. I badly need damage on King Gambit. There's the withdraw. Please wake up. You just got to wake up here. Yep, there's the parting shot. Just give me damage on both of these. Just give me damage on both of these. It's still plus one. Just wake up. I need a one turn sleep. I already had three turn sleep last time. <sighs> okay. I see that this isn't going to work out. The, the reflect is now gone, which is really cool, but I literally just have to earthquake. Wake up. I live that. Wake up. Okay, there we go. That's good damage. I just needed it on the... I needed it specifically on King Gambit to win, I think. Because that's... It might be AV. Yeah, and I, I just keep earthquaking. Until I go down. Because this is looking like a Specs Tatsugiri game. She may even just want to go for, like, Reflect here. And try to round out the game. Parting shot's probably better. But yeah, assuming AV King Gambit, um, I still get a lot of damage here. Even if, even if parting shot happens, literally, there's no way to avoid damage on King Gambit if it's AV there. That's fine. All right, and now I'm at neutral. Now I'm at neutral. But I'm not asleep. That's the big part. Literally no one should be running the uh, self-KO Tatsugiri set. It is one of the worst sets in the game. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Alright. Um, I still just go for EQ. Side Pollen Puff doesn't do much here. Honestly, I might win by timer. I still have the Pokemon lead. Wolf's using it and he's 6-1. Yes, but it's also day one of the ladder. That's kind of a big contributor there, right?
All right, good damage on Amoongus. I'm going to sleep here. I honestly would prefer if Dondozo would just get KO'd at this point. It'd be so much better for me if Dondozo just got KO'd. I have to pee so bad, too. This match is taking forever. All right. I'm assuming Spirit Break into Side Palm Puff, right? Watch me live. No, I don't live. Okay, that's fine. Tatsugiri comes out. And I don't think that another Spore would have been safe there. So I don't think that she actually did that. I think she's just going to Side Palm Puff. Yep, okay, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Because now I go into Gothitelle. And I have Fake Out Pressure. Take out you, go for Specs, Muddy, Water, and I just spam this until the game ends. And I did enough chip to the King Gambit where I don't think it comes in on this. Alright. Watch this KO. Watch this KO. That's one. Looks like they were going to go for Parting Shot there. Don't miss. Oh, no. We're missing something, aren't we? Please just hit the Grim. Just hit the Grim. All right. Accuracy drop. Nice. Okay. I go for Hypnosis into Amoongus, and I go for another Muddy Water. I guess I could Psychic, but honestly, if I, if I hit the Muddy Water, it goes down anyways. So it's still just worth it. No. Don't. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. I better land this. I better land this. Come on. This is all I need. Yes! <laughs> I literally could not afford to miss that move. I would have just lost. Uh, and now, like, Sucker Punch doesn't KO without a crit. And I just spam Hypnosis again. I have to pee so bad, man. I have to go to the bathroom and I'm, like, holding it because this match is intense. Yes! <laughs> I win by timer! Good game, bubs. Too much time pivoting, not enough time dozoing. You were dozoing, you were dozoing off. GG, bubs. GG, bubs. Let me run to the bathroom. I really had to go to the bathroom that entire match. Alright, be right back. That's the official Don Dozo. Ah, uh, Star Brush. That's fine. That's fine. Not a real gamer if you wash your hands. Listen, I'm going to shower later. I've already given up my gamer pass. All right. This is the biggest Gothitelle Amoongus game I have ever seen in my life. Straight up, what's their counterplay? Or actually, maybe it's like Don Dozo, Arcan... Uh, maybe I don't lead off with like Gothitelle at all. Yeah, maybe I don't lead off with Gothitelle at all. No, trapping in something would be really huge for the lead. It would be really huge for the lead. Um, But it's it's the Garganical that's messing with me, man. I don't think they bring Garganical. I don't think they do. And like Specs Tatsugiri is still really good for it. Let's go for the let's go for the Amoongus trap. Amoongus trap looks really good. Let me go full screen. All right. What time is it? All right, we still have like 40 minutes of streaming. Rotom Garchomp? That's fine, actually. Let's see if you're clear amulet. Nope, not clear amulet. Or yes, clear amulet, I mean. Let's go for fake out. And... Will-O-Wisp. Cool. Just connect and we're good. If we connect, we're good. I think we just win. Come on. 
Come on, Arcanine. You're crazy. You're crazy, Arcanine! What's your opinion on Garganical? It's actually a really good Pokemon. Very hard to deal with. Oh, they're just Disquake spamming. You silly goose. Oh, that crit my Gothitelle, though. That, I don't like that. Alright, um... Go for Protect here. And I'm gonna Snarl. Because it's probably... I don't know what kind of Rotom that'd be. I'm gonna Earthquake. I can eat that up like Rhesus Puffs. Alright. Critical hit on Garchomp's really nice. Um, Discharge. Let me think. I need to keep Gothitelle alive is like the biggest issue. Do I go for another Protect? I think I have to go for another Protect. That's like my safest play. Because if I order up on the Rotom, we're in a really good spot. I can't go into Raw Dozo yet. So let's, uh... Let's Extreme Speed Rotom to get it into range. I get the Double Protect. Okay, that's all I really needed there, to be honest. Okay. Arcanine goes down. Alright. Uh, and I don't believe there's any circumstance where I lose my Gothitelle this next turn. So I can go into Dozo here. Alright. So now, I think I just pop it. Yeah, I pop it, because Rotom's stuck. I don't know if it's in range of plus two order up, to be honest. That's the scary part. I think if I Terra, it will be. It's really close. I kind of have to go for it, too. Because if I don't go for it, if I don't get that plus uh, two, like, there's no way we beat Amoongus. Or that plus three, I mean. Granted, we don't get KO'd by Discharge, but a Para could ruin this. Because that speed boost is like what we really rely on. Not scared of Garchomp at all, really. This Discharge should also just bounce off of us, though. Alright, does this KO? It's plus two, you already took some chip. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. That's not great. However, it might be better if they if they don't paralyze us, it's probably better. Yeah, no, if they don't paralyze us, we just beat them. Alright, don't para. Oh, he thunderbolted. That's fine. Just don't para. Just don't para. Just don't para. Oh, you're kidding me. Why? Okay, we're still fine. I still just order up, but I cannot afford... I literally cannot afford to get parrot on the Amunga switch in. I order up the Rotom again. Listen, we've gotten such bad luck this entire night, but it has not stopped us from winning a match yet. It literally... Why? Hello? Yeah, I bet you wish you didn't para me now. It might be better in the, in the long run that it lived. Because now we're at plus four. I just have to not get clear smogged. However, it's also not guaranteed they have clear smog or even the Amoongus. Because this is a plus four Ice Fang now. It's a Zoomerol. Okay, that's fine. We just Earthquake. We just Earthquake. Like, you can Belly Drum. I don't care. Play Rough certainly doesn't knock us out. 
I guess if they Terra Fairy, it'll come close. But this is literally like the biggest physical defense wall in the game. Alright, we outspeed. Oh, if they Belly Drum, they're done. The zoom rolls down. You need their Citrus Berry. Congratulations, you're in fake out range. Congratulations. Alright, if I don't get fully paralyzed, we win. It comes down to just not getting paralyzed this next turn. It is officially in fake out range. Organical. Okay, literally, I just have to land an earthquake. That is my win con. Just don't get full parrot. That's literally my win con. Because Spex Tatsugiri annihilates Garganical. Alright, that's Terra Grass, right? Yep. Typical. Just literally don't get full parrot and we're fine. Alright, we're good. We're good. That's a win. That's a win. Critical hit, too. That's funny. Probably Salt Cure. I've never seen that animation in game. Luckily, I'm a dragon type, so it doesn't do double damage now. But I am at plus four now, so I just spam uh, Ice Fang into him. Ow. Actually, Order Up is safer, because I outpace him. And it's stab. Nope. Alright, full para. Body pr No, that hasn't even come close. Oh, he crit me, though. Listen, we're getting such bad luck at the end of this game. I don't think there's a way for him to bring it back, though. He hasn't iron defensed once. So, like, I just have to order up. Also, Specs Tatsu just comes out in, like, Draco Meteors. Look at this. Nice. That's that good damage. Nope. Alright, next one KOs. Next one KOs. I think even after, like, leftovers if he protects this turn. And then Tatsugiri just comes out and I, like, go for Draco Meteor. Goodbye. Nice, okay. Professor Germs, thank you so much for the sub. Six months. Alright. We are Don ducting all over them. By the way, tomorrow my uh my train conductor hat comes in. <laughs> Can you guess why I'm ordering that? All right, we did it. We did it, guys. Check this out. Bam, all my dreams come true. Pokeballs here. 